students, families, staff, and community. It is a difficult time in our country and communities across the nation as we have erupted into grief and anger following the death of George Floyd. Before I go further, let's take a moment of silence and memory of Mr. Floyd and all black and brown people who have lost their lives through police brutality and violence. Tony Thurman, our State Superintendent of Public Instruction, had wrote to all of CDE employees. He said, I believe the path ahead begins with listening and encouraging courageous conversation. As a team of professionals supporting students and educators across the state, CDE and CSD has the power to help schools understand the intersectionality between issues of educational equity an implicit bias in the classroom and the systemic racism that persists throughout society. I want to emphasize and reassure our staff, families, students, and community that our school is a safe place and we do not tolerate discrimination, racism, hate speech, or violence of any kind of form. We are committed to allocating adequate resources necessary to support diversity, inclusion, and the values of a multicultural society. We are committed to celebrating core values of liberty, equality, democracy, equity, unity, and diversity. We are committed to promoting and elevating acceptance, inclusiveness, and kindness of all students, families, and staff. The diversity of our school community continues to be our greatest strength. We are better when we all work together, learn together, and communicate together. However, my statement is not enough knowing that all of us need to step up and end racial injustice. Also, we must end white supremacy in our country. While we take the time to celebrate successes of our students this week, it is with intent to communicate that CSD acknowledges the pain and conflicts that our community is experiencing. Together, we must end systemic racism. 